Programmers do kung fu fighting To ride good fast as lightning Okay, so the next thing I want to do is make my uh, function here uh, this something also use new line as a delimiter so I want to have um, sums numbers delimited by new line as a test and say as of that string calculator sum one new line two is three. Execute that. Why doesn't this? Uh, okay, I did the same mistake again. Now it should work. Run, but the test does not work because it does not work with the new line. How to get that implemented? That's actually quite simple because since this is a regular expression, I think, regex, um, I can actually say here, okay, if it's comma or new line, please split it, which should solve the test case, right? And in fact, I can even combine these things and say public sums numbers delimited by um, comma or new line. So I can combine the cases and say um, string calculator sum one comma two new line three and that should be six. Re-execute that one is working. Nice. The very next thing requirement to my uh, string calculator is that I can actually exchange um, the delimiter by specifying a delimiter in the beginning of the string. So let's write a test case for that. Public void sums number um, numbers no uses delimiter specified okay so let's say assert that string calculator dot sum and the syntax is slash slash delimiter let's say semicolon new line and then one semicolon two and that should be three, which it isn't because it cannot, it tries but cannot uh, parse slash slash semicolon uh, to a number. So let's get over to the code again and say um, if input starts with slash, then um, I'm going to in, do input dot split by new line and I'm going to limit that to two so I get the thing before the new line and the thing after the new line that's let's call it parts for now and say okay um, parts zero substring from two to the end is delimiter and override the input by parts one. Should generally work. Now I want to factor out this one here as a delimiter. Pull that up here reassign it here. Does it work? Yes, that does work. Nice. 
Okay, so now I can actually configure an arbitrary delimiter for my string. It's not really that nice, the code. Let's have a look at the tests. The tests do look rather okay. Whoops, um, sorry. But I don't really like the code. So we have the special case of the empty input here, which I think we have to keep because as I said, uh, splitting the empty string by something will give us an array with one empty string element and then he's going to fail at the parsing step here. But I would like to somehow pull out um, this separation logic here. Let's think about how we can do that. Um, problem is that in fact I get two uh, return values from this logic. One is the delimiter, which is passed from the from the initial stuff, and one is the actual sequence of numbers that I'm going to split using the delimiter. So what's uh, usually the solution to a problem where I get more than one value from a computation is to introduce an object that encapsulates these two values. And since we're currently in a static context, I'm going to use the string calculator itself to be that object I create. So I'm going to add to fields string delimiter and private string numbers here. And I'm going to create a private constructor string calculator with a string string delimiter, um, which I'm going to assign to the delimiter field. This quick fix is really stupid because it does not even add the braces. Okay, and a second parameter string numbers, which I'm going to assign to the numbers field. Good, easy as that. Now I can introduce the calculator instance and say here new string calculator with the delimiter and the input is going to be assigned to a calculator field and then I want to declare the calculator actually up here because I want in both cases a different calculator instance to be constructed in this case from the delimiter and the input and in the other case, I want the calculator to be constructed from new um, my default delimiter value up here and the whole input. That of course does still work because I'm not using the calculator yet. So I want to map this logic down here to calculator um, dot numbers split and this here to calculator dot delimiter does still work right okay so now i can get rid of this one here actually let's go the easy, easy way it's assigned more than one so i cannot inline it okay so much for the easy way um, just take this here and put it here. This should work, right? Should change nothing. Um, and now I can use parts one here directly as the parameter still does not change anything. And then I'm going to pull this out into a method called parse input. Okay, I parse the input um, and I actually going to replace this by two separate returns. It's a matter, a matter of personal taste, but I like it better this way. Re-execute, everything still works. And I would like to um, pull parts of that logic here now. Um, out into an instance method 
of the string calculator, which means I'm going to quickly inline this here and then I'm going to use all this to create a sum method, sum calculator. And unfortunately, I think there's no way to refactor this static method into an instance method. I'm going to move it up here real quick and then do the refactoring manually by removing the parameter, removing the static and removing these uh, explicit references to the instance and removing the one here and say calculated.sum. Re-execute, all tests still working. I'm um, going to reformat this real quick because I personally feel like it's easier to read if you put the stream transformations um, in one line each. So one is to create the stream, second is to map it to integer, third is um, to actually sum things up. Okay, um, next thing I'm going to do is inline this here because the line is short enough. Tests are still running and I'm content with the code solution. Programmers do Kung Fu 